Ladies and gentlemen, for tonight's game, to ensure that we may possibly have an additional home football contest, we ask that you sit two rows apart and six feet in between groups, and that you wear your face mask at all times. Thank you for your cooperation.
returns to the playing of the alma mater. Gentlemen, on behalf of the Clearfield Area School District and its athletic department, we welcome you to the Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School for tonight's football game between the Bearcats of Huntington and our own Clearfield Bison. Your paid admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by these student athletes representing Huntington Area High School and Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School. Please give them your positive encouragement and support. Booing, taunting, or intimidating the officials, coaches, or athletes is unfriendly and unacceptable. Fans are reminded that the Clearfield Area School District is a tobacco-free environment and we request you honor our policy. Fans are also reminded to wear the protective masks and practice social distancing. Thank you. Now for the Huntington Bearcats, starting lineup, Huntington is coached by Shane Thomas. On the defensive line, number 58, Trevor Dixon. On the defensive line, number 77, Mason Summers. On the defensive line, number 78, Chase Summers. At linebacker, number 76, Samuel Culbertson. Also at linebacker, number 55, Briar DeLine. At linebacker, number 35, Braylon Ronk. At linebacker, number 32, Miles Bainey. Defensive back, number four, Tyson Cook. At defensive back, number seven, Darren Harmon. At defensive back, number 17, Luke Brown. And at defensive back, number 21, Matt Cross. And your starters for the Bison. At quarterback, number 14, Oliver Billet. At wide receiver, number 2, Carson Levine. At wide receiver, number 4, Jake Lezer. At wide receiver, number 15, Ian Billet. At wide receiver, number 21, Logan Fransky. At running back, number 24, Jason Bluebell. At running back, number 25, Mark McGonagall. At tight end, number 16, Nick Domico. At tackle, number 72, Isaac Samsel. At guard, number 57, Zane Inguagiato. At guard, number 64, Josh Steele. At tackle, number 60, Hayden Kavalik. And at center, number 65, Matt Baylor. The Bison are coached by Tim Janoko. The Bison's next contest will be Saturday, October 24th at 1 p.m. at Frank Barachetti Field in Brockway for the District 9 Triple-A Championship. Your officials for tonight's contest are out of District 6. Randy Lang, David Adams, Robert Moot, Robert P. Moot the second, and James Noy. Oh, 
with the possibility of a home playoff game in two weeks, we ask that you sit two rows apart and six feet in between groups and that you wear your face mask at all times. Thank you for your cooperation.
hard to believe that we're in just the fourth week of Bison football uh, in the middle of October.
Chad Brendel. He was definitely one of the better players that we faced in our history. And they just had super receivers, a, you know, a good quarterback, and they were fast all over the place. I mean, we were the Bearcats, number seven, Luke Brown, outstanding. 35, Brandon Holmes, that I faced in all my years coaching. Indeed. And Clearfield won last year's contest 28-16. As we get ready to kick off the Denny's Beer Barrel Pub kickoff, Grayson Graves has the ball on a tee. It's a line drive, squiddler, fielded it at the 10-yard line, and this ball gets underway. Returned out to the 25, and it's number 35 for the Bearcats, and that is Braylon Rock. Braylon, 25 yard line. So Huntington from their first play from scrimmage. Now last week Central scored on their first play from scrimmage on a deep pass and Huntington back to pass going for it all down the left side. Have a receiver at about the 45 in and out of the hands. And I believe that's Ian Billet with coverage there to deflect that pass. Billet 
So incomplete brings up a second and 10 from their own 25. Shotgun formation with receivers to both sides. Now they're going to set up boxcars to, to Harmon and right up the gut. Actually an option out to the left. Tackled for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Option toss to Miles Bain ends up on a turf. Recovered by Bain. Loss of about six on the play. Brings up third. Push back to the four yards line of scrimmage. And Lake tried to pitch it on the option there. And they're lucky that they came out of that with not a fumble. So Huntington tries a pass on first down and a run on second. They, they've racked up 942 yards of total offense this season, 602 through the air, 340 on the ground, and they face a third and 15 from the 20 yard line. So boxcars to both sides of Harmon. Harmon will work out of the gun, motion man from left to right on third down. Back to pass, flush from the pocket, he'll tuck it. Now pass across the middle, nearly picked off by Jason Plubel. It falls incomplete, pass. fourth down. So Clearfield looking to force a three and out. The punter for for Huntington is Tyson Cook. Ball on the 20-yard line after the loss. A rugby-style kick, right-footed. He'll put it up. Lazar calls for the fair catch at midfield. We'll call it the 49, and that's where Clearfield fair comes out on the first Lezer. offensive series of tonight's homecoming contest. First down for the Bisons at their own 49-yard line. Makes a fair catch right there. Huntington punter in his rugby run there almost found himself where he holds up the punt block. So Clearfield will start out with 988 total yards of offense, 573 through the air, 415 on the ground, and we we'll, we look to see the big whistle establish both aspects of that offense tonight. As Oliver Billet, the big junior, lines up under center with backs in the backfield and wide outs to the far side with the ball on the left hash. Back to pass, Billet going to the air, long, incomplete at the 20 yard line. Looks like they were trying to hook up with Jake Lezer. Yeah, nice job by their quarterback, defensive back Darren Harmoner. Clearfield tried the, uh, you know, tried the- Broken up by number hook seven, the ladder, hook the ladder right there where you're in the outside receiver, or the wheel route, the outside receiver went on the post. Lezer was in the slot, ran the out and up there, and the corner stayed in his third there and had a chance for a pick. So on second and 10 after the incomplete, ball on the 49-yard line. OB will work out of the gun now. Ian Billet and a, a, muff pet, a muffed snap. The running back and Mark McGonigal will pick that up and have nowhere to go as he's corralled behind the line of scrimmage. McGonigal picks up the back snap on a bird play. He's shot for that. 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 Yeah, game time temp at kickoff was 50 degrees, and the skies are going to continue to clear, and this temperature will drop probably another 10, 10 or so degrees. Back to pass, empty back set. Oliver Billet looking across the middle. Had Carson Klein down the right seam, well, and too strong and long, strong incomplete fourth down. Brings up fourth down. Both outs ran the post and the inside receivers. Ran the out and up down the sideline. I got it. Looking at the, I couldn't see who the receiver was for Clearfield was doing the out and up on the right sideline, but he was definitely coming over. So a fourth down looks like Grayson Gray's out to punt it back to the Bearcats at the 10.05 mark of this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. The deep man for Gray's the punt for the Bison. The Bearcats will be Luke Brown. Number four, Tyson Cook. Cook. For the Bearcats. With the ball on the 45 yard line, seven, Graves set up about Luke just Brown. outside the 30. Steps into it, gets a nice punt away, takes a bison bounce, continues to roll, and the bison will touch it down at the 10 yard line. And that's where the Bearcats will come out on their second offensive series of tonight's ball game. We're scoreless with under 10 to go in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Mabel's Pizza, the hottest place to get a piece since 1967. Call 765-1673.
And now no need to fill the heat inside with their new pickup window. Mabel, well worth the wait, open Thursday through Sunday. And Campy, you, in, in your uh, absentia, Brad Davis from Mabel's Pizza has, has uh, given his Mabel's Pizza first quarter sponsorship to uh, sponsor some local local shops and uh, in this quarantine uncertainty or this COVID uncertainty and it, it's just a nice gesture yeah, from good guy, good friend, good guy. so the Bearcats find some running room around the left side on first Very down from their own 10 yard line wrong. is that back good in the game of the wrong yeah they moved it they just went to like Jason wild play ball right there, the right the right stock the the right. running back there and he went you know went over the left side there for a solid eight yard game so play caught clear a little bit by surprise to Braylon Ronk, and he does. He has three touchdown passes from the quarterback position, and it looks like he's back there again. Are you going to tuck in a run? Looks like the same play, the same way, only the Bisons are set there as they get a TFL tackle for loss behind well, the, the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Ronk was a running back before this, so he had a great no game on the quarterback there, so you know, probably the better runner of the two is why they're doing it. Can't be, do we dare call that a sack? I don't know if you can. Yeah, but well, when you're making a rushing attempt, you can't call it a sack. You know, it, was a run, you know, it wasn't a attempted pass at first. So third and three from their own 17, a loss of a couple on downs. Box cars besides both. And Runk will throw the slant route. Intended receiver is Tyson Cook. Defended there by the Bisons. And the Bisons here again force a three and out. So the ball on the 17 yard line. Jake Lezer, the return man, at about the 45 rugby style kick. Cook gets it away. Takes it. Bearcat bounces, it crosses the 40, down into the 35, and it'll be stopped just inside the 30, and that's where Clearfield will come out on their second Rolls offensive to the series of nice ball game. Right, time to start playing football here, Pat. We have first and ten by the first possession there. You know, Drew put us in the hole there, so let's see if Clearfield came out throwing. I'm looking for them now to just see what they can get, you know, just running straight at the Bearcat. And we'll see that as the Clearfield... Offense takes the field. 8.29 left to go in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. We're scoreless on homecoming on the hill this evening. And just the fourth game for the Bison in this COVID crazy high school football season. It'll be Bill at the work out of the gun with a little like clue bell to the left, wide house to both sides. And they'll hand off. Actually, it's going to be OB. And OB shows what he's what he's capable of, of as he picks up the first J.D. plumbing and heating first down of the night as he moves the sticks and the ball out across the 40-yard line. Yeah, nice job. I mean, that was a nice, nice, nice little wrinkle there. With Miles Payne just stops the bear right there. And then Obi really rode him hard, almost like he was reading the play there and then took off the opposite way over the right tackle that he said to pick up Mabel's pizza first down. So first attempt for... There you go. Right, George. Two weeks off, he forgets. OB going long, has Domico. Too strong and long, incomplete. And I, did Domico work out of the slot position, slot receiver? They ran a quick out with Jake Glezer at the split end position. He just ran a slot fly right there, right down the seam there. And ball just a little overthrown, but uh, Domico did have him beat by a couple steps. Hey, the interesting thing, we talked about that on the trip home from Central Martinsburg last week, is, is Domico arguably the best hands on the on the on out of all receivers there. He's got to get touches Correct. and targets. He's like glue. If you get him anywhere near him, he will, he will pull it out. And they did. They, they started lining him up in the slot. Now it's going to be. Who has the running lane? That's Jason Plumbell gets loose into the secondary, second level. Another J.D. coming and heating first down as Plumes goes across midfield and is finally tackled down at the Bearcat 42-yard line. Yeah, big hole for Plumbell there. I, I might even got three yards in that run there, Pat. But, uh, you know, nice job by the Bison left side of the line there opening up that big hole. Plumbell took advantage of it. We say thanks to Wise Eyes Optical along with Denny's Beer Barrel Pub for sponsoring tonight's kickoff and pregame. So first to 10, running downhill from the Bearcat 42. 
It's going to be McGonagall sets up his counter step and has running room. After the handoff, McGonagall. Left side for 42 yards out. The Bison's on the board first. Touchdown, Clearfield. Clearfield comes into the nice ball game with 415 yards of total rushes. Mark McGonagall, Mark McGonagall 28 carries for 116 oh, yards. He scored oh, twice, giving his third touchdown of the season. And the Benner Automotive Sales and Service extra point. Carson Klein to Nick Domico to Gracie Brave. Clearfield on homecoming up 7-0. 721 left to go in this Mabel Pizza first quarter. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. Yeah, 30. Four for four, 70. Four for 70. Thank you. Our stat man in between the coach and myself has a four play 70 yard scoring drive, an incomplete pass. He's the meet between three runs, solid runs by Oliver Bill and Jason Bluebell, and Mark McGonigal takes it 42 yards to pay dirt. Tracy Graves tacks on the point after, and right now it's the start of a happy homecoming as the Bisons are up 7 0 in his Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Graves, the kickoff fielded at the five yard line going back to fill that and swarming on the specialty teams. Luke Brown on return. Will be forced, we'll get a number there. Luke Brown, That's 17. That's EB, IB. Ian Billet there, again on a touchdown run pass. That was uh, Josh Steele and Zane Ingrid John on the left, left arm left tackle there. Did a great job on that drive. So Clearfield up seven to nothing, seven fifteen left to go in his Mabel's Pizza first quarter. The Bearcats out on their third offensive series of tonight's ball game, and they'll have box cars beside Braylon Runk and Runk, looking to set up his blockers. Will work the right side. Looks like Nate Natoli in there first with the first touch and tackle Harmon for the Bison. Yeah, just right now I just see a totally different speed level with the Bison up. So the Bearcats pick up a couple as we want the clock winds under seven here in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Box cars again, and it's wrong. Pack to pass going strong and long. Right side. Incomplete Carson Klein with the the pass broken up and the intended receiver is Tyson Cook. So you Vini ain't with it. That was Rump throwing that ball, not Harmon. Right? Yeah, Tyson Cook, the leading receiver for the Bearcats, 12 catches for 228 yards, and he has three touchdown receptions on the season. The incomplete brings up a third and eight from the 17 of the Bearcats. Box cars again to both sides, and a rugby scrum ensues behind the line of scrimmage. And a play like that for us, and I, I certainly mean no disrespect to the Bearcats, but you can see why they have struggled this season so far. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if Ronk again on the carry and stopped one bison immediately the by the Bison. It reminds me of an old Bob Love saying, <laughs> meet me in the backfield. Fourth and nine, Cook will punt it away. Right side, takes a bounce straight up and down. Jake Lesler will walk away from that. And Clearfield with a short porch on the Bearcat 48 yard line on their third offensive series of tonight's ball game, looking to add on to this 7 0 lead. 
came out throwing on the first drive and then ran the ball down there between the last drive there. I know they want to, you know, get practice both sides, you know, throwing and running here. But, you know, I got a feel that they're, you know, they might want to just go fortunate up and run the right over the left side. Yeah. Jason Plubel to the right of OB. They'll give it to, yep, they'll fake to Plubel and OB will take it right side. Pretty good defensive play there by the left defensive end for the Bearcats, a one-yard game. Uh, well, if they would have gave the ball to Bluebell there, I think he would have scored. I mean, it just seemed like they knew that Oliver was going to keep it because there was definitely three or four Bearcats waiting for him to the perimeter when he took off. And OB has 29 rushes for 139 yards and three touchdowns so far this season. Clearfield, all told, has run the ball 96 times for 415 yards, and they've hit pay dirt five times, not, not counting the McGonigal touchdown tonight. They'll feed McGonigal now, and the Bearcats are up to the task as they meet him at the line of scrimmage for little or no gain on that play. Yeah, Chase Summers, uh, 6'1", 230-pound freshman, did a nice job of slipping off the block and making the tackle at the line of scrimmage right there. So. Two very good plays on this drive so far by the Huntington D line. So it brings up a third and nine from the 47 yard line. Clock rolls in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter on homecoming. Clearfield up 7 0. OB awaits a shotgun snap with wide outs to both sides. Motion man is Jose Albon from left to right. Play action pass. OB sets his feet to the air, to the end zone. Yeah! And it's not oh, quite the end zone, but it's caught by Jake Lesser at the three-yard line. Let's call it the three. Yeah, it'll be, you know, right up to the screen, that ball about five yards in the air. And uh, again, the women's end, you know, when you're one-on-one on one with Jake Lesser, you're going to help him out. And Jake just really just went up and got the ball, took the ball from the defensive back. So, you know, hard hit by Lesser, but also... So another Janie plumbing and heating first down inside the action graphics red zone. First and goal from the two. It'll be Plubes to the left of OB and they'll feed Plubes. Jason Plubel finds Pater for his first touchdown of the season. Plubel up the middle to the right touchdown. Benner Automotive Sales and Service Extra Point. The Benner Automotive Sales and Service now selling quality pre-owned vehicles specializing in Jeeps. Carson Klein with a snap. It's a laser beam. Nick Domico puts it on the block. Graves knocks it through the end. It knocks it through the upright. 14-0. 427 left to go. Mabel Pizza first quarter. This is Bison football. Not passport radio. Mercy roll. Please. Yes. Let's just get there. Fourth play again. Yes. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Bingo. All right, Battle of Bison football fans, on two consecutive four-play scoring drives, the first of which covered 70 yards. This last scoring drive started downhill at the Bearcat 48. Jason Bluebell finds Paydirt for his first touchdown of the season. Braves, Racing Braves takes on the point after, and Clearfield on homecoming. A 14-0 against the winless Bearcats at the 427 mark of this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Yeah, for the Bearcats. And uh, see Wade Wade right up here, looking like he's in prison, Pat, there's a strike making those strikes for 14 points right now. Trying to get the 35 as quick as he can. Graves kickoff will, will Graves find its way into the end zone back. for a touchback. And Bearcats. This is the Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Mabel's the hottest place to get a piece since 1957. Call 765-1673. Now, no need to feel the heat inside with their new pickup window. 
Mabel's well worth the wait until Thursday through Sunday. So you're not going. So the Bearcats on first to 10 from their own 20 yard line after the touchback. Our officials out of District 6 tonight, Dave Adams is our referee, Corey Bucker is our umpire, Randy Lang, our line judge, Robert Muth is the head linesman, Robert Muth the second is our back judge, and James Noy is a side judge. And Huntington on first and 10 from their 20 will go backwards as the the Bison D really settling into tonight's ball game. Clearfield with just two takeaways on this on this fourth game of the season, looking to add to that call. So it looks like Harmon under center now. He'll he'll fake and roll to his left, sets his feet, and the pass over in front of the Huntington Bearcat bench. They're going to call it incomplete as it looks like it skipped off the uh, artificial playing surface. Broken up by only place receiver to catch it, and they just could not come down with the play, but it was a well-executed play, but didn't finish it with the catch. So third and 10 from their own 20, as the clock in his Mabel's Pizza first quarter, under four now. Clearfield up by two scores, 14-0 on homecoming on the hill. It's Harmon out of the gun, it looks like a wrong to his left, and a little screen set up to Luke Brown, he has the, pat, the catch with a running rim on the left side. He'll pick up the first down as he crosses the 30-yard line, Harvard's where he'll be nudged out of bounds. Number 17, Luke Brown. That is a Huntington Bearcat. Chased out of bounds by number 10 for the Bayou. Totally. That's a first down to the Bearcats. So a fresh set of downs for the Bearcats at the, at the 3.30 mark of this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Now a shift as the box cars go to wing, double wings on the right. White House to both sides. It looks like Harmon will smash his way to the right. Actually, that's wrong to the right side for a couple. Stop by number 25, Mark yeah, Gondol. They were just trying to get numbers to the perimeter to try to you know, have them, be able to run the quarterback sweep right there. But, so second and nine for the Bearcats from their own 32-yard line. It'll be sidecars to both sides, and it looks like Ronk again to hand off. Okay. We'll get the running back. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's Miles Bainey. Bainey, Bainey, the leading Stop rusher for the Bearcats, with 54 carries for 169 yards. So third and five, back to pass is Rock across the middle. Natoli had gloves on it at the midfield stripe. It couldn't come down with it. Carson Klein will step in to return this Tyson Cook punch for the Bisons. The ball on the 36 yard line. Klein at about the 33. A fumble snap, and Cook will be swarmed over and suplayed down at the 25 yard line by Mark McGonigal and help and polished off by is that that's Samsel Isaac Samsel. And Isaac Samsel comes into the nice ball game with 17 stops and a sack, and we're going to give him a a punt, a special teams uh, tackle there. First and ten on the shortest porch of the night. Billet 
Out to the right flat. And the reception, Ian Billet's going to find Painter for the first time this season. Billet to Billet, touchdown Clearfield. That play covered 26 yards. That's the French connect. And we'll see if Grayson Grays can tack on his better automotive sales and service extra point. Carson Klein to Nick Domico to GG Grayson Graves. 21 nothing, and it's a happy homecoming on the hill this evening. Clearfield 21. The Bearcats 0. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. 30, please. That's a good thing. It's a happy count coming on the hill to this evening in Hyde City. Battle of Bison football fans on our fourth offensive series of tonight's ball game. It took just one play. Oliver Billet hooks up with Ian Billet, 26 yards on the passing catch. Scoring into the field house end zone. Grayson Graves, three for three on the night. And Clearfield running away with it right now, 21 nothing, with two minutes left to play in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Yeah, real important pass that he, he, on that pass play, Bill never had to break stride. Okay, and that allowed him to get in the end zone. Short kick fielded at the 30 yard line. Return out to about the 36 by Cook for the Bearcats, and that's where the Bearcats will come out and try to get on the board here. Tackle by Jose Mabel's Alton. Pizza, the hottest place to get a piece since 1967. Call 765-1673. And now, no need to fill the heat inside with their new pickup window. Mabel's, well worth the wait, open Thursday to Sunday. I got to throw a shout out to our main man, Tommy Thomas Rolls. Tom Rolls listening again. He has been a regular forever. And I got I to open this one up because it, it, it's a little lengthy. Okay. It's, it's good to hear Campy back on the on the uh, on the Thanks, headsets. Tom. Appreciate it, Tom. So the Bearcats with that double shift out of the box cars, and we'll see if Ronk will keep it. And that play design, and Ronk finds some room down there over on the left Ronk side away from us, Campy. Yeah, I mean, it, it looked like he was running in slow motion here, Pat, but there was no Bison's there, and uh, able to turn the corner and pick up. Six yards there, so four. You know, I mean, he's had the probably the, the most successful runs for the Bearcats. Hey, Campy, I got to add a little bit more to Tom Rolls' okay. uh, text. Go right ahead. There. He says his boss is from Huntington, so right now, Tommy boy enjoying tonight's contest. Well, if his boss is from Huntington, he's going to be working overtime. <laughs> Second to four. Under a minute and a half left to go in this Mabel's Pizza carry first quarter. Brings, brings up a third and short for the Bearcats the Bear from their own 45-yard line. That's, that's a long, that's a yeah, I, I always like that. I mean, you know, the coach is like five feet away from the quarterback giving him signal. Just, just holler out and tell him what the play to run. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. last, last night in J.I. game. I'm calling it <laughs> Blitz. <laughs> hey, it's on linebacker. Let's. Ronk has it left side, and it looks like he has the line to gain. Front stick at about the 37 yard line. It looks like Ronk got it by about a half a yard. Uh, I like the design of the play. I mean, I've seen the running ball down here. The, the, the split end step back, and he was going to be the option man for the quarterback to pitch to. So, and they were able to get the corner, so it put the corner in a position to be stay with the receiver or go make the tackle on the quarterback. He stayed with the receiver and, uh, and the quarterback able to pick up the first down. So under a minute to go in this Mabel's Pizza first quarter. Another first down for the Bearcats as they approach midfield. Back to pass is wrong. 
Intended receiver is Cook. Carson Klein on defense. Domico there to ensure. Bronx pass falls incomplete. But, uh, it is incomplete. Yeah, good push there by Josh Steele with the tackle position there. Then Oliver Bill four, coming on the outside. Did a nice job of breaking down, you know, to not allow the quarterback to get outside. Made the quarterback then throw it off his back foot and did not reach the receiver. Looking at that Bearcat, Bearcat offense Very and well team. Said. All whites on their their visiting oh, white yeah. jerseys, but they're they're relatively five. they got some size across, they do. They really just, across just, the board. They don't have much speed, Pat. I mean, they're 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 running some nice plays. They just don't have the players that really break anything. Bronco keep it and try to find some running room. Tries to submarine. Bronco to left carry. side, and that's Bison. where Hayden Kabalik will clean up that mess for a loss on the play. It'll bring up a third and 11 from their own 47-yard line. Hey, Battle of Bison football fans, that's the end of the Mabel's Pizza first quarter with the score on homecoming night on the hill in Hyde City. It's Clearfield. 21 better than the Bearcats. And coach, it's that time. Fans are reminded to wear their protective masks and practice social distancing. With the possibility of a home playoff game in two weeks, we ask that you sit two rows apart and six feet in between yeah. groups. Well, Pat, tonight I would like to thank time. our thank sponsors and all our local businesses that have supported the Bison football and Bison athletics over the years. I know that my wife and her family at Jim Sports Center have donated thousands of dollars over we the years. We have found a wall well as a lot of our other Irma sponsors and Gerd. local businesses. It's Therefore, the please stop stand. and buy local. Found. Many of our sponsors have connections to former and current players. Adam and Sam Lansbury of Pick Lansbury Trucking are examples stand. of former players that have remained loyal Bison. There are two brothers on the current Bison team that are grandsons of one of the sponsors of tonight's ball game. Can you name in those in two the players of the and that Bison local six. And Cambria six. And go with Gabby. That is, in fact, a good one. In the second quarter, Phyllis Port goes to zero. Last week, Tyrone zero. Logan and I had some issue with the with the BTT portion of. Uh, we just we were unable to deliver it quite like you. I wonder. I wonder if it was because he was calling me on the phone at 4:30 when you guys were on a ride down to Central to give him give him some questions there, <laughs> and then he didn't have nobody had any pencils or pens to write down the question. Just beer. So at third and eleven, it will be Harmon back to pass and under duress chucks it up. Yeah! Nathan's on the way with an interception in the first takeaway of tonight's ball game. His second pick of the season. And Clearfield, and really for the, for the Bearcats, that, that interception is as good as a one. Yeah, he was a quarterback under the rest, running backwards, was trying to see uh, who it was there. That way, for the Bison, it looked like Hayden Cabalic on the pressure. And, it, you know, he just was never able to set his feet. So throwing, going backwards, trying to lob it over to Tolley Sage, the receiver just couldn't get it there. And the Tolley with a nice snag there for him. Second pick of the season for Nate Natoli. First and 10 from our own 40 yard line. Ian Billett, who had a touchdown on last touchdown before. Back to pass on the play action. Billett sets his feet and going along and strong to Carson Crook. They're going to call it. They're going to call offensive air bat and really. Yeah, Carson, if he wouldn't have just extended, you know, kept his hand low on the guy's hip there, but he got his hand up a little bit too high, and he's going to get called for the push off there. Let's put it like this, I mean, it's not pass that blatant, but, you know, but it's a situation where it's probably the right call. Yeah, any time. You know what I'm saying, you learn to, you push off, you, you teach a receiver's bat to run and to try to push off low you know, on the guy's hip, you know, waist to the hip. So you don't see it. If it comes above the waist, then the referees are almost automatically going to call the push off. Yeah, and just with the, with the extension of that of that push off as well. Hey, you, 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 you got yeah, it. It was a little. He, he, he probably gave the nudge a little bit too early. Fifteen yard penalty against the Bison. Last second. Brings up first and twenty-five. So that'll back the Bison's back to their own twenty-five, and we'll repeat first down as we are underway in this Lesser Lumber second quarter. Again, you gotta be impressed with OB's arm there, Pat. That ball had to be uh, you know, 50, 55 yards in the air. I mean, the kick it really 
you know, throw the, throw the long ball. Timeout, Personnel, quite, not quite what the big whistle want. We'll take a timeout, and this timeout brought to you by Bloom Electric Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. Fall is certainly here. Winter's on the way. Time to check out that furnace or heat pump. When you call, they get moving. That's Bloom Electric Plumbing, Air Conditioning, and Heating. 765-3140. With this timeout, we'll take a timeout. Clearfield, all over the Bearcats. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. Thirty, please. Live action on first and 25 from their own 25. Finally, for Marky Mark McGonagall. Just a nice, I mean, he, he ran over people, dragged people, pulled people. By just a great run by McGonagall. Oh, wide, 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 wide open. Klein, Klein has it down the right side. He'll be tackled down at the 12 yard line. Clearfield goes hurry up out of that tight and tie out. Yeah, they did the you know, bear cast, but, you know. Not, didn't have a chance to line up there, Pat. I mean, well, it hit him so quick. I mean, the corner who should have been out there was still in the middle of the field looking for the defensive call, and the ball snapped, and, and then just throw it out to Klein there, and he's running down the sideline. So to bring up our third consecutive on three consecutive plays, our third consecutive J.D. Plumbing and Heating first down from inside the Action Graphics red zone as OB goes under center from the 11-yard line. Blues in the backfield along with Jose Albon. Jose Albon in between the tackles down inside the five-yard line. Jose Looks like he'll put him down about the two or three. And it'll bring up second down. Quick little trap there on the inside. Of right now, Mike Carr pulled there, but it said they, you know, just a quick hitter there. And Albon able to sneak through the hole and almost got in the end. There. So second and goal from the three. Seven and a half to go in this Lesnar Lover second quarter and a half. Clearfield breaks the huddle. McGonagall now to the right of OB. With wide outs to both sides. Baranski split wide to the left. Paul Cook to the right, and they'll give it to McGonagall. McGonagall side stops and makes his way. He was untouched for that fourth touchdown. Yeah, he, he, he was trying to decide, do I go right and run for a touchdown or go left there? He's just digging around. There's nobody around. I mean, just a you know, big hole for McGonagall to run through for the four. That wasn't the icky shuffle. That was, that was, the, that was the Marky Marky shuffle. He was shuffle. doing the shuffle at the, at the two-yard line there. I didn't know what he was looking for there. Better Automotive Sales and Service Extra Point now selling quality pre-owned vehicles specializing in Jeeps. Carson Klein with the snap. Domico puts it on the block. Fine snap. And Domico Grayson Graves tried and true like an old Good. canoe. 28 0 left in the second quarter. In this loser lover second quarter. Homecoming on the hill tonight. This is Frank your football on Passport Radio. That's sec Mark McGonagall's second score. Yes, it is. From two yards out. Spreading the ball around. Three, uh, four for four. 60 yards. Yeah. Another four play. Four play. Right, Battle of Bison football fans, it has been a scoring, uh, four plays have been the magic number for offensive series tonight in scoring prize. Mark McGonigal had two touchdowns coming into tonight's contest. He picks up two tonight. 
And Gray perfect on the evening with four PATs. Clearfield out in front of the Bearcats. 28-0. With a whole lot of time left to go in this Lesnar Lumber second quarter and a half. Yeah, just a dominant performance right now. Bigger fast and strong. Grays will kick off from left to right as we see it in across your radio dial. It'll die at about the five. Grays kick goes into the end zone for end a second zone. touchback of the night. Touchback. Graves with that big First right foot. Their own 20 yard line. Yeah, it didn't look like the Huntington returner there, uh, Luke Brown, wanted to actually return it, so he's lucky that ball got in the end zone because it looked like it may stop on about the one or two yard line. Graves comes into tonight's ball game, 12 to 13 with the PATs. He's perfect on the evening at four, four and four. And don't forget, gang, coming up at the half, as always, Bobby Bet on it is going to be live down on the field for a Facebook special. Uh, and Bobby Bet on a portion of the Irwin Service Station halftime brought to you by Kerr Cattle Company, along with Stats at the Half with C. Wayne Wood, brought to you by Walter Hopkins and Company. And a stoppage of play here. Looks like Big Zane Inguajano is going to exit. Maybe helmet, yeah. the equipment problem, or a little blood on his arm or something there. Let's see what it is there. As none of the above. No, no, there's going to be a penalty. 12 well, men on the field against the Bison. Oh, he, he was the, whoever went in was so excited, didn't tell Zane he was out of the game. <laughs> so they'll mark the ball off five yards on the penalty. They didn't snap the ball, though. No, they didn't. I mean, yeah, you would think that they needed have time to make At least run the play. Right. Well, the Bearcats looking to gain any kind of advantage they can on this uh, night as they, they pick up a Bob couple on second and five. The they trail 28 nothing with 10 minutes and change left to go in this Lesnar well, Lumber second quarter and a half. Yeah, Huntington was a little trap there to the inside there, and uh, Gavin Mills, who was in there for Zane and Lugata, made the tackle, so instantly makes an impact on the game. This is a Leather Lumber second quarter, family owned and operated since 1927. Fall, kitchen, bath, and floor and sale now through October 17th. You better hurry or what's the day today? What's the day today? Hey, tomorrow's the big day, I last got, day. I got a feel they got to be changing that ad next week. Little scissors counter there by the Bearcats. It looks like they have the, the, the line to gain out across the 30 yard line. And they'll move the hey, sticks. Holiday, they yeah, That's Halloween. Rock of the carry brought down by Nick Thomas. Hey, yeah, be sure to check out clearfieldfootball.org for anything you would want to know about Clearfield football online. 9.23 left to go in this Lesnar number second quarter and a half. Clearfield up 28 0. Bearcats with the ball. Fresh set of downs from their own 32. And they're going to try the reverse. Around the left side, and it's going to be Brown. Will be forced out of bounds. Reverse out of number bounds 17, the Luke Brown. Line, so he picks a few. up a couple. Chased yeah, well read by who, who's number 31 for Nick on my roster there, Pat. Yeah, Jose Albon. That's Jose. Yeah, Jose uh, definitely was the only one that stayed oh, home and made, yeah. recognized that little reverse by Huntington there. But the, re yeah, re the, re the running re receiver gave him a little stop and go to get to the outside and pick up a few positive yards. So second and seven from the 35. For the Bearcats, it's Harmon. He'll hand off. Oh, he's faked that wrong. And now the oh. option dive. They and they, they did out across oh, nice the 45 line. yard line. Caught the Bison a little bit flat footed. Yeah, there. they just ran that option really well. And he was able to get to the last guy on line of scrimmage where he has a situation Luke Brown on the option. quarterback or stop by number two, pitch Carson guy, Clyde, but not before the quarterback and the quarterback down. able to get that pitch off at the last second and big, you know, big running lane for Huntington. So the Bearcats doing exactly what they needed to do here, Campy Ween. They, they're stringing together a couple first downs where before in that first quarter they were pretty much relegated to yeah, three so they're, they're running nice plays, Pat. They're just, you know, just not able to physically complete them. So first and ten from the 48. Looks like it looks like uh, Danny. It's going to be Danny. Danny with Bainey. the carry picks up a hard spot for a yard. Yeah, very hard spot. Hard spot. Stop he broke two or three tackles there just to get one yard there. Or otherwise, he would have lost a couple in the back. Big shout out to Justin Keith. Says, right, let's go to Clearfield Bison beat those Bearcats.
So second and nine from the 49 yard line. They'll work out of the gun with Whitehouse to both sides. Rolf will go in motion and it looks like Clearfield got a head start on the play. I don't know if they're drawn off sides. Yeah, I want to say that the, 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 the wing or slot that Oliver Bell was over made movement there. Offsides. And, and, and drew both bisons, you know, offsides there. False start on So that's in fact the call false start will move the Bearcats back five. And it'll bring up a second and long now from their own 44. So here again, Harmon will work out of the gun with Ronk to his right. Check that. That'll be uh, Bainey to his right. And Ronk gets the orbit sweep on that to the right side. Picks up about five. Bring picks up the penalty the for the fights hard for about and five. And a yard more to bring up third down and nine. Yeah, yeah, I think they're run, running one of my favorite He's sets. Third down it's nine hard to defend. Two tight ends and two flankers are really spread your defense out along the line of scrimmage and can create some running lanes there. I said it's always been the, you know, all the years I coached was one of the tougher sets to defend. So third and nine, now they'll go twins here to the wide side, the ball on the right hash, motion man is brown, and Harmon back to pass, they set up that screen That's again, it. and it is picked off! Who jumped the passing lane? And a horse car. It doesn't matter. Clear up with their second takeaway on the night. It's Samson. Yeah. Isaac Samson. Yeah, they, they, they had the it so well defended there. There were be a horse If he doesn't make the, the pick, there's going to be four bases to First make the, the tackle there. For the but bison. Samson just timed it out perfect in running stride. Yeah, and if he doesn't get horse collar, he's going to go into the end zone. So, Bices have defended the screen plays pretty well this year, Pat. It can't be. The Bices come out with just two picks or takeaways tonight. They have yet to recover a fumble. They come out with two picks uh, on the season. They have two tonight. Right. And what, Josh Steele? Or, uh, Steele and Natoli yeah, earlier. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Steele was a lineman on a, you know, a lot of screen pass oh, yeah. also. So that's telling you, don't run screens against the Bison. So on their sixth offensive series, Clearfield with 6.57 left to go in his Lesser Lumber second quarter and a half poised to enact a mercy rule pending any further scoring action. Back to pass, OB looking across the middle, Carson Fry in between the houses. Got the eye on Bison, touchdown Clearfield. Yeah, they were getting the wheel round from the post and out and up by the inside receiver on both sides. Klein running that skinny post on the right side there and still it right on the money for the score. So a well executed play by the Bison. It has been four plays, four plays, four plays, four plays, touchdown, 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 one play, one play, touchdown, touchdown. Braves waiting for this vendor automotive sales and service extra point to push it. To get it to hopefully an act of mercy. On the snap, Domico's holding. Graves flying. Good. Domico to Graves. It's 35 0. The route Clearfield is on homecoming weekend on the hill. This is Bison football. The possibility on radio. of a home playoff game in two weeks. Fans are asked to sit two rows apart, six feet in between groups, and wear your Say protective it. mask at all times. Please wear your protective mask and look at practice social distancing. Thank you. Jonathan Keith. Jonathan, yes. Yeah, Jonathan Keith. One play, 12 yards. One play scoring drive, cover 12 yards after the Isaac Samson interception and the horse collar. Grayson Graves packs on his fifth off uh, PAT of the night. And one play, and to speaking of number one, our number one fan listening tonight down in front of us, it's none other than Chris O'Shea. You know what, I, th I think I see C. Wayne Wood down there with the cheerleaders, they're, they're doing a chant called Defense, Defense, Mercy Roll. Don't forget, gang, we will have the homecoming festivities coming up at the half. Logan Kramer. Or check that. I think it's. I, I, I think it's actually Bobby, Bobby Bennett. Ben I don't know who Logan Kramer is. I know Bobby Bennett out there. Yeah. But I think Bobby's. I don't know if he's doing this. He's doing this. Half turn there. 
It'll be interesting to see what shakes out of that. Luke Brown with the uh, return Shane after the Cooper Grayson Graves brings up first kick off for the 20 yard line. And the Bearcats, the Campy, they were able to put together a couple first downs that last offensive series. And, and then, uh, right, they just, they, they just don't have the players to make any big, you know, make big plays here. So I like their plays, you know, but players make plays. Leather Lumber, family owned and operated since 1927. Fall, kitchen, bath, and flooring sale now through October 17th. You better hurry. Rolls back to pass, right side. And it's picked at the 38 yard line by Nate Natoli again. The return is on, crosses the field. And it's going to be Tyson Cook taking down Nate Natoli after his second and third of the season. 30 yard line. You know what they call that pass pat? Yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, it was, he was trying to throw it to the guy on the First right side the line, the and it came out of his hand like a curveball and ended up going straight down the middle of the field to the tolling there. So, you know, just a, you know, a ball that slips out of the quarterback's hands and right to the Bison D back. The tolling's a turnover machine. Seventh offensive series in this Lesser Lumber. Second quarter and the half, Clearfield all over the Bearcats, 35 nothing on homecoming, looking to add on to this lead. They'll empty the back set, save OB. With trips to the wide side, ball on the right hash, OB looking to the wide side, has Logan Baranski, the speedy, fast Baranski, catches, and Baranski hits Painter for the first time this season. Touchdown, Clearfield. You know, just too, way too easy, Pat. You know, the once proud Huntington program, I look over, Pat, they can't be dressing more than 25, 25 players here tonight. I mean, there just aren't many guys on the sidelines, right? So Logan Foransky with a touchdown. One play, one catch, one score. The better automotive sales and service. Extra point now selling quality for your vehicle, specializing in Jeeps. Carson Klein to Nick Domico on the block. Racing Gray, perfect on the night. Six for six with the PAT. Domico's hold Gray's kick is good. And Clearfield, 42 better than the Bearcats the with 6.24 left to go in this level upper second quarter. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. It's dropping. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to my third sweatshirt here. Six. 24. So at halftime, Logan is going down on the field for a live. Yeah. Whatever. So when we break for halftime and throw it to Logan, I'm scooped. Because he'll be down there probably for at least 10 minutes. All right, Battle of Bison football fans, Ween has a one-play scoring drive from 28 from the 28-yard line after the second Nate Natoli take away through the air tonight. Grayson Graves tacks on the point after after Logan Ferransky finds Pater for the first time from 28 yards out. The route is on on the hill tonight on homecoming. Clearfield 42, the Bearcats 0. With Grayson Graves set to kick this. Place kick off and over and fielded at the 19 yard line. The Bearcats and the return man by Nathan Yoder. Out to the 30, close to the 30 I'm yard not line. Not too sure they didn't cough it up. One more or not, Pat. I mean, it's a ball did come loose. Brown on the return. Fumble recovered by Crutchfield brings up first down. They did call a fumble recovered by the Bearcats. Oh, did they? Okay. So the Bearcats will keep the ball from their own 30 yard line. Player personnel. Wait, they're going to give it back. No, they're going to say clear. I, th I, I, thought, I thought I saw the ball come loose there, you know, but there was no excitement over what happened there. So with a timeout on the field, 
We'll take a timeout, and this timeout brought to you by Bloom Electric Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. Fall's coming, winter's on the way. Time to check that furnace or heat pump. When you call, they get moving. Bloom Electric, 765-3140. With the Bisons all over the Bearcats, 42 nothing. We'll take a break. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. Yes. I don't think he's. I don't Logie. think. No, I, I don't think he is. Uh, I think. I think he's not going to be a Logan. Yeah, I don't. We'll, we'll get a fix. We got. We still got six minutes to change. Who called that time? The Clear, Clearfield called the time. No, Bearcats called the time. Who had the fumble recovery? We have found a wallet I, I, belonging to Irma Gerd. It's available in the concession stand. All right, Irma Bell, Gerd, Irma Gerd, fans trying to track down who had that fumble recovery. Hey. As a third takeaway, Clearfoot just had two takeaways coming into the night's ball game. Three on the night now. First and ten from their own 30-yard line. Eighth offensive series of tonight's ball game. And it'll be Jason Plubel right side. Plubel on a carry for a gain of about five. Stopped by number 78, Chase Summers. Yeah, Huntington came out and, and, and was competitive there for the first you know, five or six minutes of the first quarter. And, and Clearfield just separated, Pat. I mean, just... So much, so much better. Jason Plubel comes into the night's ball game. 23 carries for 100 yards on the nut. And a touchdown in this in this first half. It's going to be McGonagall right side. And he'll be back for, back for a loss on the play. Bearcats Who we got a quarterback there, Pat? Number 12? Lost for Coswell. Stop by the Miles 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 Yeah. Looking like Joe Namath at number 12. So a loss on the play brings up a third and seven. 520 to go in this Lesnar Lumber second quarter and the half coming up at the half. We will have the Irwin service station halftime. And as always, we say thank you to Lansbury Trucking for bringing our BTT, big truck and trivia, long, long standing trivia questions in between the quarters. Domico hands off to Bluebell, Bluebell right side, picks up a handful. Bluebell on the carry. Outside 20 yard line. Yeah, it's an arm tackle there. If he breaks that tackle, he puts them in like a third and two right here. Again, looks like Clearfield does have the most of their starters on their offensive line in there. All right. Got a couple shout outs working through here. Coach Rockworth with some, uh, some comments. We'll come back to that on fourth and two. Domico with McGonagall to the left of him. High snap, Domico keeps it, fumbled, picks it out of midair, and had it depends on the spot. He may have got the, you know, heads up, heads up, heads up, play, heads up play by Domico. Domico there, it was a high snap, I mean, he's, he's able to get his hand up there, just bat it up in the air, and then came down with it and did the smart thing and ran straight in. I don't think they gave him no, a very favorable he, spot. He, neither do I, because I thought, I thought he did a great job. I, I don't want to say it's a pity spot for the Bearcats, but... Right. Uh, I agree, because I thought, I thought Will did a great job of uh, you know, finishing off that play. So the, the Bisons, except for that first punt, their first uh, non-scoring drive of the night, and Harmon's back pass for the Bearcats. Out to the right side, Albon with the defense on Cook. Pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, it looked like he was over there, but just the you know, ball way overthrown there, so you can't tell if he caught it, whether he was going to pick up some yards or not. Leather Lumber, family owned and operated since 1927. Fall, kitchen, bath, and floor and sale now through October 17th. So, second and ten after the incomplete, Harmon back will work out of the gun at receiver. Whitehouse to both sides. It's going to be Ronk to the right. They're going to they're going to sneak the draw, the counter draw to Ronk. He makes it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe falls ahead for a half a yard on the play. Miles Bainey on the carry. Yeah, Clearfield right now is a little mixture of some you know some backups and starters in the ball game. Yeah, Clearfield shuffling in players here. Cameron Conklin back there at safety now for the Bison. 
He's a big, he's a big kid. Along with Shane Cootery there is one of the one of the backers. I see Nick Domico on the sideline and Jake Lesnar on the sideline as well. Along with Oliver Billet. On third and nine from the 23 yard line. Harmon will go under center wide out uh, to the wide side of the field. Twins formation. Harmon running for his life rolls to his right. And, and Corks one deep has rolled. He, he, he had, had it, it, and then he, he hit the ground, and the ball, the ground Auburn knocked the ball pass. loose there. So a good scramble. Number he did put the ball right in the wrong hands there. And like I said, he had the catch, but when he hit the ground, the ball came down for the Bears. So an incomplete pass brings up a fourth and nine from their own 23. 3.15 left to go in his Lesnar Lumber second corner and the half. And it'll be Tyson Cook to punt it back to the Bison. Nate Natoli will, will step in and for the return here. Rugby style. He's going to run. He is going to run it. He's got the sideline, and Tyson Cook has the first down out across the 30-yard line. He'll really close. Up before Tyson Cook on the key. He'll be spilled out of bounds yeah. at about the 35. First Good for a Bearcat first down. Yeah, the Bison just, just didn't keep the contain there on the play, and uh, – you know, he did a nice job of recognizing that and was able to pick up the first down, like you said. At this point, at this point in the season and the and, and the game specifically down 42 nothing, you credit hey. you credit Cook for the for hey. the uh, go to it. Yep, the heads up play there. Why not? So a fresh set of downs for the Bearcats. First and ten from the 34. When you're down 42 nothing. What can they say to you, Pat, if you didn't get the first down? Why don't we start the clock? Looks like Harmon will work out of the gun and a little scissors cut down behind the line of scrimmage. It looks like Samsel there. That's going to be Matt Bush. Matt Bush, nice penetration by Matt Bush. Matt Bush. Uh, yeah, but getting the, again from the back side there because if he doesn't get him, he's going to turn the corner there and pick up some positive yards. So no gain on the play, second and 10 from the 34 for the Bearcats. Glock will roll in this lesser lumber second quarter. Homecoming festivities coming up at the break. We'll give you part and parcel the Irwin Service Station halftime. Still still trying to track down Bobby Bett on it to see what his plans are. So second and 10 from their own 34. Back to pass is Harmon, rolling to his right. Under pressure by Samsel. Switches to Rex here. He's not going to get out of it. The go route. Indian billet. And Ronk hemmed in, the pass ball is incomplete. Ronk. Nice job by Trenton Green coming off the right side for the Bisons there. Put pressure, you know, and then when the quarterback reversed his field, flattened out on his contain, able to keep the quarterback inside, forcing him to make the throw on the run there. So, you know, Third nice, nice play by Trenton Green. I tell you, Trenton, that's, that's an incredible play by Trenton Green, Indeed. considering he's in Simmies on, on the sideline oh, with a cast on his who, right hand. Who, well, who's number 70, Pat? They, they got, is that 70? 70, that, that's got to be 70. Trenton oh, is 70. 78. 78. <laughs> no, there's no 78. Uh, Trenton's on the side. Yeah, 78. It is 78. Who's 78? That pass is tipped and oh, flipped. It's picked it. off by Cameron Coughlin. The backup safety for the Bison. That like it looked like a great set in volleyball right there, Patty. He, you know, he, he had the ball in his hands and he just two handed and set it right up in the air. And allowed Coughlin to make the pick. All right, who's 78, Pat? We don't know. We got to get that number. I'm telling you. I've been away two weeks and there's no people out there. I have no idea who they are. Cameron Coughlin. Bubble goes out of bounds, first and ten, Clearfield. Getting, getting, the, uh, getting the bench up, the Bison bench up on his first takeaway. Senior, and the big senior, getting razzed and raspberries as he gets that takeaway. He'll remember that moment for a long yeah, time. Yep, yep. And get, try to carry one of those kids that, that is just a program player, playing behind, knows his role, right. gets his gets his reps in on specialty teams, right. and makes the most of it tonight. He actually took reps this night th tonight because Jake was Jake was a little nicked up after that central game, so uh -huh. he, he took he took a lot of first team reps good in for, practice yep, this good week. For, yeah, you love you gotta love those guys. Those are the ones that make you pro, make you a winning pro. Pat, you know when you practice, you need you know, you're gonna be as good as the guys you practice against. Okay, so. You know, if you have a if you have good backup players, 
then you're seeing a good look every night in practice. Timeout called by the big whistle to get the personnel right with 204 left to go in this Lesnar Lumber second quarter. This timeout brought to you by Bloom Electric Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. Fall's coming, winter's on the way. Time to check that furnace or heat pump. And in, in the fur this is definitely furnace weather where you that thermostat clicks on to uh, give you a little heat inside your uh, your abode. But uh, uh, Bloom Electric Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. Hey, the Seven Mountains Media Football Trifecta. Of course, we don't have a football trifecta yet to speak of, but tonight you have the Battle of Bisons on Passport. Big Ten football is back a Saturday from now, or actually from tomorrow on Passport Radio, when the Penn State Nittany Lions travel to Indiana to, uh, to kick off their COVID-abbreviated schedule. And Bill Hildrove, Tony Tilkin, and Craig Wolfley will have the call on Sunday as the Steelers entertain the Browns at Heinz Field. It's going to be Will Domico handing off on our ninth offensive series of the contest tonight. Let's get that running back. Braden Fransky on That's a gonna carry. Be Logan Fransky's younger brother, Braden, the with the carry. For a short game by the Bearcats. The CA sophomore. Fransky. Yeah, he's a 10th he's a grader there okay. for, for the Bison. Picks up a couple. Clock winds in this Lesnar number second quarter and the half. Clearfield up 42 to nothing on homecoming. Bransky to the right of Will Domico. Motion man is going to be. That'll be Crutchfield on a carry. It's going to be Justin Crutchfield. Six. He picks up a, a half a yard. Third down. He's killing. Hey, that's a great, great job by these guys. They're executing the plays well here, Pat. I mean, I like these young guys that are coming in and playing here. Oh, that's, you know who that, you know who 78 is? Who is? That's got to be Mean Joe Nee. Yeah, it probably is. Cause he's exactly. the yeah, I think that is. I agree. It's got to be Mean I Joe Nee. I agree. I agree. A handoff to Fransky again from Domico. Great Fransky and Gary. A couple. On third down, Number clock under a half a minute here in this Lesnar Lumber second quarter and a half. Yeah, Joe, Joe Nee, son of Dave Nee there. And, uh, he's got the size of Dave. He's had 6'4", 216, only a sophomore. And then my son told me he's going to be a very good player. That'll be the end of the first half. Under 25 seconds, they're going to let it roll at halftime. All right, Battle of Bison football fans, the end of the Lover Lover second quarter. We go to the half here on the hill. Homecoming Friday night, Clearfield all over the Bearcats. 42 Man, to nothing. The, the home playoff game in two weeks. Halftime is next along with halftime festivities with Bobby Bett on it. And it looks like Bobby's making his way down to the, the stadium floor here on the hill. This is Bison football on Passport Radio, 98.5 and 900. Good evening, right. ladies and gentlemen. We gotta figure Welcome out what to the 2020 Bison Band Halftime Show. This year, we are proud to present the music from the Pirates of the Caribbean to First of the Black Pearl. And now, ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Mr. Raymond Handel and the field leadership of drum majors Riley Dillon and Madison Dillon, we present the Clearfield Bison Marching Band. <laughs>
behalf of the Clearfield Area High School, welcome to the 2020 Homecoming Halftime Festivities. Now if you could please direct your attention to the center of the field as the Vice Band will be assisting with the Homecoming presentation.
Please, please unwrap your roses. Our 2020 Clearfield Area High School homecoming queen is Riley Van Fuzo. Finally, the 2020 Homecoming Court would like to express their appreciation to Mrs. Prestash for making this year's homecoming event a reality. If it was not for her leadership, dedication, and support for the students, we believe this special day would not have come to fruition. Thank you, Mrs. Prestash, and we hope you enjoy the flowers. Thank you all for attending and enjoy the rest of the game.
for the Patriots. Bedford 29, Penn Cambry 19 in the third quarter. In the second quarter, Tyrone 14, Phyllis Bergoziola 6. In the second quarter, Belfont 10, Baldy Larry 0. In the third quarter, Central 14, Penn Valley 7. Tussie Mountain 49, the Shannon Valley 0 in the third quarter. Half, Brookville 28, Dubois 7. Service Station for bringing our Irwin Service, Irwin service Station to half time to you, Kirk Cattle Company, for uh, our Bobby Bet on it portion of tonight's ball game, and uh, along with Walter Hawkins and Company with uh, stats to half of C. Wayne Wood. So Tyson Cook will handle the place kicking chores for the Bearcats. And this second half underway. Baranski will take it at the 10 yard line. Speedy fast out to the 20. Still on his feet. Sidesteps, makes the turn at midfield and will be ushered out of bounds. Out about the Bearcat. 46, 47 Logan yard Bransky, line. Yeah, Bransky de definitely has speed, Pat. I mean, out of bounds by number it, four, know, Tyson I'm sure Cook. the Bison didn't want to put their JV First kick return the unit in to start the second half. So, Bearcat you know, they, they execute their return well with their starters there. So we'll see what, who we, so we are starting. Uh, Domico quarterback here in the second half, and we have younger guys in the backfield. Statistician's nightmare. Under card here with the JVs for Clearfield. First and 10 running downhill from the 48 yard down. line. That'll be Will Domico in the backfield with Braden Ferransky. And we'll try to get some Shane more numbers. Kush, Shane Kudry in like the up back position there. From the 47. Kudry in motion from left to right. They'll give it to Ferransky. Braden Ferransky straight ahead. Behind the line. Yeah, good push by the right side of the bison line there. Look, trying to see who we got in there. Cal Barnett. Looks like uh, Connor McCracken. Mason Summers. Mean Joe Knee definitely yeah, in there. The, yeah, I think he's on the right side there, so he wasn't on the left or the left side. He was on the right side of the line there. Eric Myers. I think it was Myers who was on the right side. Wide outs as we Bransky picked up five second of five from the 42. And it's gonna be it's gonna be Will Domico with the keeper down inside the 40 yard line. Yeah, Will brought yeah, down by number 55. Jeff sweep Anthony there, saw the hole straight ahead, ran hard to put them in a you know a third and one. So nice Sam run by Culberson. Domico, the freshman. Brings up third and Army short. Navy. Third quarter, and we'll get back to your BTT question there. Is that uh, we had some guys chime did, in did, on did the text. Did anybody get it right or not? Uh, I'll have to take a look here and say we'll see if, if Clearfield converts on third down from their own 38. Don McGill waits as the shotgun snap. They'll fake the rock in motion. Don McGill will keep it. We'll see where they yeah, mark. I think he, if they Dom give him a fair, fair mark, he got the first down. Game yes, the first down, down. Push backwards. Yeah. Will uh, Will Domico running hard By there. Four. Hey, Will you know, is the first down. Doesn't have a whole lot of weight. They got him listed 145 there, so he was, you know, looking like he was heading fast in one direction. Next thing you know, he's going back the other way. 
Another Janey Plumbing and Heating first down. They gave him the line to gain. So the Bisons on the Bearcat 36 yard line as this clock rolls in this Bob's Army and Navy third quarter. They're coming out the same set every time. Slot left, tight slot left, wide slot right. Ball on the left hash. Domico calls for the snap. Pass batted away, I believe the intended receiver. Number five there, Caleb Wilt. Yeah, and he was over here, a little soft pass on the outside there. If it doesn't get batted down, I think that was going to be a completion. This is the Bob's Army and Navy third quarter. Bob's, we have it all. Archery, firearms, hunting and fishing, surplus, footwear, camping and recreation found in downtown Clearfield. So second and ten after the bat down with this clock rolling in this Bob's Army Navy third quarter. 42-0 on homecoming. Play clock is off. Domico will roll to his right. Now we'll cut back. He gets the gray spun around in between the hashes at about the 35-yard line. He'll pick up a couple third down. Okay, he, 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 he wasn't content there on the rollout trying to make something happen. You know, reverse the field there and you know, picked up a couple there. So nice little improvising by uh, Will Dollar. Clearfield to break the huddle. And, and these, these next two quarters are all going to evaporate. Under eight minutes to go here. In this Bob's Army Navy third quarter. Clearfield up 42 nothing on third down. Motion man is Crushfield. He'll give it to that's Baranski straight ahead. He'll yeah, make his way. Looks like What's a little trap right, right up the What's middle there. Right puts him there. I think yeah. puts Clearfield like in a fourth and one there, but a uh, nice like hole for so Baranski and he really ran hard there. So it brings up a fourth and one for the Bison. So Pat, tell me, I mean, you know, you know, Will looks good, he's a young freshman, but he probably wouldn't be the backup quarterback if something happened to all of the villains. Who, who is the back backup as an older guy there? That, that, that really, that is really a, a, an interesting question. We'll talk about that and see if they, after the Bisons convert on this fourth down and one from the Bearcat 27. They'll give it to Fransky straight up the gut. He got the first down, good push. Good yeah. push, running hard. Surge takes him inside the 25 yard line, but back to your question, the quarterback, Brady you've got to handle it with the guys. The first down, uh, stopped by Briar to my line, first, my first, the, uh, another Bison first down. reaction would be to just go Wildcat with Jake Lesser. That's what I would, that's what I would have said too. <laughs> However, and he does have a strong arm, I heard there too. Uh, Carson Klein would be, would be another one. And he played some quarterback when he was in junior high, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'm not saying Will can come in and, you know, run the offense, but uh, physically he's not in a position to really, you know, be in there for a full game or something happen. Look at the pass here as uh, the pocket breaks down. The presence of mind to... to, to got back to close to the line of scrimmage here. Good scramble. Stop going to scramble again. That's Step up. About a yard. Clock rolls in this Bob's Army Navy third quarter. Six minutes and change. Miles Bainey on the stop. Bob's Army Bear. Navy. We have it all. Archery, firearms, hunting, fishing, surplus, footwear. Camping and recreation at downtown Clearfield, Bob's Army and Navy. So second and 12, a loss in a couple there. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, they run the same set every time. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, they're not switching there, they're switching those Nothing wrong with that. Wait the shotgun snap, it'll be Ferransky. Yeah, he's got a, a nice little run there. <laughs> Gonna be real close to that action graphics red zone. Yep, he's right on the one. Bransky runs into a host. You know, of years back when we when we fielded a seventh grade team Maybe here at Clearfield in, in Jay High, I, I had eight, a season where I ran I ran the same formation every. Well, it, it was just maybe, right maybe, left. maybe they can flip it and you know, yeah. so, you know slot right, you know wide slot left and tight slot right. And, and it worked. Of course, I had personnel to, to, to be able to run it, and I, I ran a motion guy, and I ran a motion man every play. And it was just, it there was, you go. There you go. You just, you just got to mess with the, mess with the uh, the defense. Hey, we're running the same play. You yep. got to stop us. Try to stop us. On a pass. Good ball, Will. Right side. They're going to call the pass complete. 
to pass is to Max Paul Cook. Yeah, just a little curl pass by Cook there. He went, you know, went past the first down down. marker, came back to the ball, and you know, and Domico threw a nice low ball that oh, yeah. the defense the could not do anything about, and uh, you know, good catch there. Inside the action graphics red zone on the 11 yard line. It's a fresh set of downs under five oh, to they go. Change of formation, Pat. It's trips. This is yeah, red, red zone yeah, formation. Out everywhere. Bufranski to the left of Domico from the 11 yard line. And they'll give it to Fransky. He'll work right side. He might pick up one. It's called time consuming drive. Wrong with really, really. I mean, when you think there, about yeah. it, really, really wouldn't have, even though it's a it running clock, it wouldn't have made much difference there because there's only been one incompletion. As the clock rolls down to under four and a half in this Bob's Army Navy third quarter. Got a, a chime in from Howdy, Howdy Peters this evening. I don't think he came up with the right uh, big truck and trivia question, but Domico will keep it and wait for his blocks to set up and try to find a crease there in the middle of the field. Domico on here. Close to the 10-yard line. Stopped by Miles Bain. We're trying to get Trevor Dixon. Pat. Bob's Army Third and Navy, Bob we nine. have it all. Archery, <laughs> firearms, hunting, fishing, surplus, <laughs> footwear, camping, and recreation <laughs> in downtown Clearfield. Shout out to... Gary Sugar to Ben Morrison. They're out of camp. How nice would that be to be out of camp? Out of camp. I would like to be next. I'd, I'd like to be next to that fire. <laughs> Which That's what I can tell you. They say the coyotes are howling and they're and they're cheering. The, the coyotes are cheering on the uh, the vices tonight out of camp. At Rocket, Penn State give to Max Paul Cook from Domico. Cook will cut the corner left side and work down inside oh, the eight yard yeah, line. Yeah, Cook did a nice job. He almost got tapped on the backfield, broke a number six. Guy had a hold of his shirt there and able to pick up a few yeah. yards there. So I think on the six yard line, four for six for the Vice. Three minutes, less than three to go in this Bob's Army and Navy third quarter. 42 nothing on homecoming on the hill tonight. Domico awaits the shotgun snap. Looks like trips to the wide side with the ball on the left hash. Domico rolling to his right. He's got a guy ready to go on. Oh. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Number 11. Domico's Isaac Derendetta. Yeah, had a chance. Goes through his hands he incomplete. A Turnover on down. So First the Bearcats will take him. over on down. That's a nice time consuming drive. It was. They took a lot of it. Bison took what, 10, almost 10 minutes off the clock right there in that drive. Yeah, 2.22 left to go. Uh -huh. And Bob's Army. And like I said, it really quarter. wasn't an incomplete, one incompletion prior to that. The clock continues to will roll now after they set their, reset the chains as the Bearcats take over on downs. Riley Bancuso, the homecoming queen for tonight's uh, homecoming festivities at the break. First and ten for the Bearcats. Runk will empty the backfield. He's going to keep it himself. Work the left side. On the left hash. Oof. Out across the 15. That's Taken wrong, down it by Shane Coudry. With help from Will Domico. Will Domico at the corner position. Yeah, I agree. That they're, that those two are on the pass. Mills. Under a minute to half. Gain a nine. Minute and a half. One. Did, we, did we answer that big truck and trivia question? Of who? No, we have not. We have not divulged it. Did anybody guess it? I got. Let me check that. Let me scroll through the text again here. Wrong again. Uh, Stop my host of Bison short. Loss of a couple. Brings up third and three. I don't see any. I don't really see any. We're down to about 60 seconds here left to go in this Bob's Army Navy third quarter. 42 nothing. Bearcats on third and three from their own 14. Box cars to both sides. Quarter, we'll do that double check. Quarterback sweep again. Yep, here we go. To the right side. Tries to cut Ooh, back against the great outs, and he did. He got yeah, bent back right. over. Got back up. It looked like a right, right. Body there, so. 
Colossal one on the play. We're back the Bearcats up to their 13 yard line. I don't think they have to run the play if they don't want to. Do. I don't understand that the, uh, the play clocks are off. Right, that's what I said. They've been, off, they've been off in the first half here a little bit too, I noticed. So the Bearcats going to wait and let this time roll out. Hey, Battle of Bison football fans with the Bob's Army Navy third quarter in the books and the score on homecoming. Clearfield 42, the Bearcats 0. Coach, you know it's that time again. Pat, again, the nice theme was thanking our sponsors, you know, for our show the here. The third quarter, and all local businesses that, you know, that contribute to the, you know, Bison football program and all the Clearfield athletics. Okay, our question for the third quarter: This Bison was an outstanding quarterback linebacker who would go on to walk on that pit and earn playing time on special teams. Just a great kid. Who was this former Bison, and what business? Does his dad co-own and operate? That's a, another good question. We got to go back. I I, I did finally get a, uh, a get right one? answer, uh, and I think this goes to, out to Kevin Wiser. He says the Domico boys because they were grandchildren of Bob Army Navy. Well, we have Bob's Army Navy and Domico the whole third quarter. Now. And now the Bearcats. On fourth down, we'll punt it back. The rugby style kick, it's going to be cooked. He's going to do it again. 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 Right side. He has might a go, lane. Uh, 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 Still yeah, on come his on. feet. Tackle him, don't let him score. Crosses midfield. Will. <laughs> and that's going to be Caleb Wilt nudging him out of bounds. We'll see where they spot the Bearcat ball. Looks like he's out, down to the 30-yard line. Yeah, it's not good when you go home the and, they, and they go, who's your leading rusher tonight? Our punter. <laughs> they go to 13, 37, and 57 <laughs> yards. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Casey. It's true, though. It is, it, it, it is true. But, uh, hey, Cook's not going to mind. Right. I don't have a punt formation every play. <laughs> Cook actually the leading receiver for the Bearcats uh, so far this season with 12 receptions, 228 yards, and three touchdowns. He, he may be the leading rusher now, all purpose, all purpose rushing yards. Right. Yeah, he's not a bad looking. He's not. He's not a bad looking player. Not real fast, but he got some size to him. Cook <laughs> on a carry, <laughs> nice gain of a yard or two. Yeah, you know, can out jump some you know, deep in the back for some balls. They're all cheering for Bushy. Matt Bush making his way to the sideline. The Bearcats second and nine from the, the Bison 30-yard line. Looks like Harmon, shotgun. Actually, that's Cook now as the quarterback. And Cook actually, Cook, Cook actually was one for two in, in uh, completion. He actually threw a touchdown this year. Right, so he's, yeah, you can see he's probably their best all around player. This is a Champions Choice Sports fourth quarter. Custom screen printing, trophy engraving, and glory. Champions Choice Sports is located at State Street in Kerwinville. As this Champions Choice fourth quarter clock rolls with 10 minutes in. A little bit of change. Third and nine. It's going to be Ronka into motion to the left. It's going to be Harmon rolling out. Oh, they left him wide open. Okay. And it's going to be Connor Eagle with the pass and catch. Yeah, I'm glad he dropped, him, you know, dropped that pass off short because the guy was coming wide open on the deep flag. Darren Harmon completes the number five, Connor Eagle. So Eagle has the, the pass and catch down. down inside the Bison 15 yard line. Another set of fresh downs for the Come Bearcats. On, well, I do know that you, you, you want that shot out. So I mean, you know, I guarantee you the kids are still trying to pump these guys up because you'd like to come out of this with no points. 
Harmon's under center. Ronk will go in orbit motion now from left to right, and they'll give it to Bainey. Bainey. Miles Bainey. And Miles Bainey in between the hashes straight ahead for the Bearcat touchdown. Bainey yeah, once he got ahead up the middle there. for the Huntington he's touchdown. Really younger guys in the secondary that if they would have stepped in, I don't think they would have felt very good. Yeah, Bainey, Miles Bainey comes into the night's ball game with 54 carries for 169 yards. That's going to be his first touchdown of the yeah, season. That's, that's it. Well, they have one rushing touchdown coming in on the season. And that was the quarterback, Harmon. So Miles Bainey gets a touchdown tonight. Good for him. Yeah. It'll give that scissors, that, that counter scissors oh, to Runk on the two-point conversion. It Braylon fails. Off by 15 that's Stops Kudry. The they made a nice play right there. I mean, that kid By had Shane a, Kudry. Had a, had a speed there. Nine eighteen left in the fourth. Clearfield so 22. a nine eighteen left to go in this Champions Choice fourth quarter. It's forty two six. Bearcats on the board. They avert the shutout. We'll come back and see what the Bison undercard does on the other side of this break. This is Bison football on Passport Radio. Toes are getting cold. Oh, I'm with you. Yeah, it's like the hunt season when you don't move. Yeah. You know, no matter what you got on. Yep. That, that cold just. just Scores from around the area. In, Bedford yeah. 43, Penn Camry at 25. Tyrone. Yes, and Toe 28. Yeah. Yeah. Phyllis Burgos at 14 in the third quarter. In the third quarter, Central 28, Penn Valley 7. Central in the third quarter, Belfont 10, Baltimore area 0. In the fourth quarter, Tussie Mountain 64, Mo Valley nothing. Ooh. All right, Battle of Bison football 10, fans. 21, Brad, the Bearcats on the board. They avert to shut out 42 6, 9 18 left to go in this Champions Choice Sports Central fourth Clary quarter. 49, with Tyson seven Cook to kick quarter. off to our Battle of Bison, and it looks like. Caleb Wilt, along with Justin Crutchfeld. And it's going to bounce on a couple of bounces in the into the end zone touchback. for the touchback. Hey, Pat, At the half, St. Mary's 28. Head coach of the wrestling for men of seven. Matt, the Rascals of Res Light, none other than this, one Jeff yeah, Amini. He's, he's good. He's really good. He's got one of those voices, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, I mean, he definitely could he definitely could get a job at a college team. So first and ten from the twenty, this clock will roll in this Champions Choice Sports fourth quarter. Don't forget, gang, we will have the C Classic post game report. First and ten. Seaway Wood will bring you your post game numbers. Champion, I'll quickly talk shop. We'll set up next week's playoff game at uh, at uh, Brockway. As Will Domico awaits the shotgun snap. It'll hand off to Braden Ferrance. Nothing doing there. Ferrance. Bison didn't give, give a chance to the run there. I mean, by three uh, hunting the players busted through there to take them down for the one yard loss. Trevor Dixon. Again, this is a Champions Boston Choice yard. fourth quarter. A Champions Choice sports. There's custom screen printing, trophy engraving, and embroidery. Champions Choice sports found at State Street in Curling. You know, I said I said initially at the in the first half that uh, I thought this canopy, this this super big passport radio canopy, was keeping the uh, the cold from yeah, I'm settling in on us. I was looking for some sideboards on it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have it. <laughs> That's only when you go to the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, straight ahead. Is Bransky again on the carry, Brian brought down well, by We had our, our kickoff temperature Summers. was 50 degrees and, and uh, partly cloudy. It's now down to uh, 38 degrees. And well, it's just it's just such a shock because it hasn't been like this any, you know, heck, it was 75 degrees, what, yes? No, there were, there were a couple just cold last afternoon. Yeah. You, you, uh, how quickly you so forget Florida boy. Just, for my wife and I disagree, I like this cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> That pass is Domico. Looking to the left. Intended receiver. Domico's pass. Intended for Paul Cook. 
Max Paul Cook over there on the left Broken side. Yeah, I'm seven. impressed with uh, Domico's on there. I mean, he's, he's got a live arm. Brings out fourth down for the Bison. That was a nice ball. They call us to the JV punt. Punt team on fourth down, fourth and five from the 25 yard line. There must be enough players. The, the play clock is, is, is they're, they're actually willing to play clock away, putting them away for the evening. Gracie Graves will handle the punting chores. As long as they got six on the line. Whoa! And they're going to whistle that up. Motion against Clearfield. Here so comes one extra player. Right after this. For I knew they were short one. So we're back to Bison's up five, take it back to the 20-yard line, and we'll try this again. <coughs> you can run Huntington's fake punt, play and get a first down. I tell you what, Wayne, that's not – Gracie Gracie's a big kid. Is he, is he fast? He, he, he is – that kid's put together. I think he has – he has a They're coming. Of, uh, playing soccer uh, <coughs> at the collegiate level. Yeah, yeah pres full pressure by the Bearcats. Graves able to get that punt away. But I don't know if it was tipped or... Right. Well, he, well, he was real lucky. Ball. So how, how, how's our, how's our uh, soccer team for doing? Uh, first and 10 for the Bearcats. i got to figure they're getting ready for the... The bike's is 21. Right That'll hurt the average. So the Bearcats out on first and 10 from uh, the Bison 21 yard line. Half of a fourth quarter to go here in this Champions Choice fourth quarter. Six minutes. Harmon back to pass. Trying to cut into this Bison oh, lead. Right All right alone right. in the back of the end zone. Coverage was blown. Harmon's pass to Cook. And it's going to go to Bison touchdown. Cook for another Bearcat touchdown. Yeah, they just they didn't, didn't stay deeper than the deepest receiver. There. I don't know if the cat the corner moved. I don't think he yeah, did. I think there was a guy yeah. ran down and out. He saw him and just jumped out, and I mean, that guy was wild. I will, Campy, if his feet are, as if his toes are as cold <laughs> as mine, he probably couldn't move. Right, right. So the Bearcats are going to go for two as they are, uh, their, their last two point conversions failed to make the end zone. Harmon back to pass, right side, and they're going to pick up those two points on the conversion. Harmon's the pass catch. complete to number four, Tyson Cook. It's going to be Cook with the pass for the Bearcats from Harmon. 42-14 with Michael Nichols the on quarter. the scoreboard. This is 42. Bison football on Passport Radio. It's going to go. It's six, five, 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 five. This game went exactly how we thought it was yeah, going to go, right. except for that first that first series. Right, first right, series correct, was correct, a debacle. Correct, correct. But uh, other than that, it, I mean, it um, yeah. it went it went exactly how we thought yeah, it was. Yeah, it could have been it could have been ninety eight nothing. Yeah. Looks like a JV return. Uh oh, dropping in signal. Take All right, Battle of Bison football fans. Tyson Cook set the kickoff after he caught the two-point conversion. After blown coverage there, gives the uh, Bearcats another touchdown. We'll see if they go with an yeah, onside kick. I just can't see. If you do that, then you're asking for trouble. Then. Yeah, he, he tucked one in the end zone there, the, the last kick. Crutchfield has it at the 15, out across the field. Yeah, you don't want to go east and west, go north and south. Right, takes it out to the 25 yard line. Looks like the 26, and that's where the Bison Brought down by number 22, on Owen offense. Garlock. Again, under First six to go in his Champions down. Choice fourth quarter. The C Classic post game report at the conclusion of tonight's contest. At their own 27. Clock rolls. Yeah, I think the point spread tonight coming in, Pat, was 42, so this might be on ESPN's bad beats tonight, there, <laughs> because. If you had Clearfield given, given 42, you were looking pretty gold, gold at halftime. And Van Pelt. <laughs> <laughs> Will Domico. Faransky to his right, wide outs to both sides. Shotgun snap. No fake to Faransky. Oh, Domico there you go. himself. Oh, okay. Out across the 30. Domico with a keep. And that, and it can't be that, like field. you said about his, about Will's lightness. That's yeah, it's not correct. It's light. It's in his light. I mean, but, he, but he's and doing the right things. Like I said, it's just he's, 
That's why I said he, Second down, he could six, probably seven, come in and run a, a series and hand off or all over or something happened in the game. But he's not going to be able to physically to be able to play a whole game on the varsity level. Yeah, he, I mean, he picks up picks up four on a play, but as he as he as he uh, wrapped up, he, he just gets pretty much lifted correct, off. Correct, correct, correct. He's like he's pushed like. back. That's, that's it. Second and six from the thirty-one. Crickfield in motion, and they'll give it to Fransky. Finds a seam left side, out close to the front stick. He's ran well. He's ran well. So I'm sure he's done well in JV. He's definitely done first down. Going to move it again for another JD Plumbing and Heating first down. The ball on the 38. And again, Champions Choice Sports. The Champions Choice Sports is custom screen printing, trophy engraving, embroidery. Champions Choice Sports found a state street in Kerbinville. Clearfield breaks the huddle. Clearfield will improve to three and one. The Bearcats will remain winless at 0 and 6. On first to 10 from our own 38. Set a little counter action to Baranski caught down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of the play. So Pat, did we get yeah, any Baranski answer for my last stop for trivia loss. question? Check out the uh, see if my, my phone. My old Garlock. Mine was not working well. About 38 degrees. Got nobody in answering in on the uh, the private line. Okay. Well, you know the, the the second trivia was action graphics with Mike Sowers, co-owner there, and his son Eric Sowers, who was a outstanding you know football and basketball player for Clearfield. He would go on to walk on at Pitt and earn significant playing time on different special teams. Okay, and so he, you know, he, he was very well again within the uh, program. program there. And so Anthony so definitely, Jesus. that was my last year teaching and coaching him, and he was a junior, and he's one of my favorite players. So, you know, again, that was Eric Sellers and Action Graphics. Yeah, fun, fun high school football player, like you yeah, said. Yeah, he, played, he just played the game the right way. Yeah, he certainly did. Action Graphics again there. In the old Charu building. Charu's yeah, before your time, Campy. Oh, I was, no, I was out. Were you, uh, yeah, were you oh, I, I was in there. I was in there a few times, just scouting the place out. Uh, just scouting it out. Uh, yeah, that's coming from a young, uh, a young planet. Well, people. it might not have been called that at that time. I that mean, was Charu till the end. Yeah. What was it called? Charu. Was it? I yeah. was in there because they had good steak dinners. I know that. I, that, was, I, that would be Ween. That would be in Ween's heyday. I can remember a, a, oh, a buddy of mine, Carmen Barber, being, being in there working there. That's, you're going back Domica to the 50s and 60s the at, for, the, for the Char Ray. Oh, yeah. Char Walt Kitka and his sister's own. For the loss. That's a nice thing. I wish I had a fourth down loss on the play there. It brings up the yeah, fourth down for the battle of places. Yeah. I think it went the, up for sale in. Oh, no. Reed, it was Reed's Triangle. After Correct. The it became the Triangle. Reed's said, Triangle. Yeah, Karma Barba, who Reed I see the the, That's why I all the time was the bartender. In there. Yes. Yeah, they sold that in about 78, 79 to uh, Reed. Clearfield's uh, going to take a timeout with Jay 136 left neighbor. in this Champions Choice Sports fourth quarter. And uh, we're going to keep it here. We can talk. Charu, that was, that was just an old. You remember some of the old restaurants and, and businesses that, that were around our uh, beloved town back in uh, the all American uh, city days. Oh, my. We had the Diamond Hotel. That was, that was in Clearfield, definitely. Enjoyed. Well, they used to say the place to be was out where, like, the captain's table yeah, was at. That Shamrock? Was that a Shamrock. Well, that was uh, you know, my buddy John Bracken who passed away. And he owned that at that time. John was a great guy. Thursday nights were the night to be out there. Yeah, so Thursday nights. Sid <laughs> Lansbury always told me Thursday nights was the night. Yeah, yeah the old Clearfielder Hotel. That's going back in the 30s and 40s. So, fourth down at Devices come out of this timeout to uh, set up the punt formation with just a minute 36 until the C Classic post game report. Grayson Graves to handle the punting chores. Tyson Cook will set up for the Bearcats at about his own 35 yard line. Oh. And it's blocked! 
by the Bearcats. They try the scoop and score they still do, on. Do. Oh, down to the one. He's at the one yard line. After Very two fun. attempts to scoop Walk and again. score, the Bison will pull the Bearcats oh, at the one yard line. Covered by yeah, there's going to be a lot of people the going, the boy, Huntington really gave Clearfield a good game lately. We see the score tomorrow because you've got to figure Huntington's probably going to get in here from the one yard line. Well, well I do see that Huntington definitely has their youngest guys they possibly can in there right now. Clearfield, or rather, the Bearcats are going to call for a timeout to set personnel. Clearfield will rally their troops there. We'll take a timeout here with uh, just one minute and 25 seconds left to go in his Champions Choice Sports fourth quarter. This is Bison Football on Passport Radio. He counts out as a punt, right? Punt? Or negative yard. yard. Huh? Or negative yard. I don't know how you count that to the yard. I don't know. 34 negative. That might be, that might be, I don't know. I don't think that's 30 yards. Well, then what do you call it? A rush? Team, team rush for minus 34? I just, he just punted the ball three times and two of them are blown. Period. So it's gone. All right, Battle of Bison football fans coming out of a Bearcat timeout with 125. Walk punt. We'll put the Bearcats in the catbird seat at the That's one it. yard line. Fake punt and punt and walk, the favorite two plays tonight. Yes, sir. It's going to be number they six. Them. There you go. Come on, get him out. Not yet Push him out. Push him out. They did. They held him the helmet of one there still. It's going to be Kyle Barnett. Oh, another. The rush. Wait, they rec recover a fumble? Oh, good, good job, Bison. The Bison come up with a takeaway. Is that their fourth takeaway? They yeah, had two, two the picks play, and two punts recovery. Three interceptions. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's four interceptions. Yeah, it makes the score look like more of a good one. Yeah. Four interceptions and a fumble. That's five. Take five away. take. Wien has five takeaways. Right. What they have coming in, Pat, tonight? Two, you said? Just two. And under a minute to Bobby go. Bobby Martell on the recovery for the Bison. Clearfield will come out. They're on, they're on the uh, one-yard line. So take a nine. knee would be uh, could, could result in safety. Right. we got time for a real, another yeah, quick. They're we're going to give Chris O'Shea another shout-out. They're going to read all the Will Dom will go under center. No, he took a knee. He took a knee at the half-yard line. Down. That clock will roll here on homecoming. 42 14 will be your final battle of Bison football fans. That's the end of the Champions Choice fourth quarter in the ball game. As mentioned before, Clearfield 42, the Bearcats 14. Join us when we come back as we will add up the post game numbers. Champion and I will quickly talk shop and we'll wrap up tonight's ball game with the C Classic post game report on Passport Radio 98.5 and 900. Clearfield 42, Huntington 14. Have a safe trip home. Remember to wear your mask and please social distance. All right.
Oh, I need another couple of minutes. We'll, we'll reverse. Can't be you and I'll talk. Yeah, let's get this. We'll go to a break. We'll go to another break today. Can't be you and I'll talk. Let's get over with. Give that night. Football fans tonight, post game presented by C Classic of Clearfield, C Classic, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram from our lot to your driveway. All the goals to find you the right vehicle. Also online at C Classic, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep.com. And so our halftime score was 42 0. Our final ends up Clearfield 42, the Bearcats 14. As Wiener is finalizing tonight's statistics, can't be. Well, I thought the, you know, after the first series, Clearfield was really sharp on offense over the first half, putting up, you know, 42 points, you know, every time they got the ball after that first possession, they scored. You know, Billet was very accurate with his throwing. They were able to get McGonagall, okay, and uh, Bluebell you know, some running lanes, and they took advantage of them. They ran the ball very, very well. So the offense looked really good, and, and the defense just, you know, overwhelmed the Huntington offensive line. And the Bison's had a lot more speed on the defensive side of the ball, and really, you know, there was, no, there was nowhere for Huntington to go. And the good thing was for Clearfield, they were able to, to get some turnovers tonight, which is going to be really big when you get into the playoffs. You know, you create good habits, okay, by, you know, by doing that in this kind of game here. So, you know, everybody came out healthy. We're going to be looking forward to next week's playoff game, okay, against St. Mary's, Pat. Yeah, that, and that's exactly, Clearfield did exactly what they needed to do, bounce back from, the, from that tough 25-21 loss to, to uh, Central on the road last week. They come back here on the hill, take care of business on homecoming. Congratulations to Riley Van Cuso for being crowned the two, 2020 homecoming queen for our uh, high school here, Clearfield area, junior, senior high school. Uh, in a neat twist of uh, presenting the homecoming court and queen uh, this, this uh, season. But uh, yeah. They were afraid of fraudulent voice there. Both there. <laughs> The football team took care of business tonight, and uh, they get ready right here. After four weeks of uh, of uh, play, they're now three and one, and uh, uh, next week they go on to playoffs. So yep, yep, I agree. We'll Don't talk agree. about that a little bit on the other yeah. side of this break. Is uh, Wiener will give us our uh, stats as the C Classic post game report continues after these messages on Passport Radio. What was the fun?